So, today in this session we are going to learn about heat transfer. So, in engineering applications heat transfer is very important where the designer of the electrical components, the designer of the power houses, the mechanical engineers need to know a lot about how the heat has to be transported. So, suppose we have an electronics engineer. So, in an electronic circuit heat is produced in the processor in the electronic components and that does that must be dissipated. That means, there must be a provision of the extracting heat from the silicon components, the electronic components, so they can work efficiently. Similarly, in a power or a nuclear reactor or a power plant, thermal plant, heat is produced at a place and that heat must be transported to the boilers where steam has to be generated. So, there must be a provision of heat transfer. That means, we must take care ample care in transporting heat from one region to another which is studied under the heat transfer that is kinetics of the heat energy. In all biological process also you see heat is produced by chemical reactions by metabolism and that is transported to different parts. So, heat transfer is an integral part of the thermodynamics. So, in thermodynamics we do not talk about the rate at which heat is being transferred. We just talk about the transactions of the net heat between system and surroundings. Whereas, in heat transfer we will be talking about how at what rate the heat is transferred from the system and surrounding via the boundary or that is from one region to another region. At what pace, at what time. So, here the time that kinetics is more important. So, we see here this heat transfer can be done in, in different modes conduction, convection and radiation and sometimes the combination of modes is also there. So, you see the modes of different different modes of heat transfer. So, let us study the different modes of heat transfer. So, the first mode is conduction, conduction mode, conduction. Next mode will be convection, convection mode and the third mode is radiation. So, we have three different modes of heat transfer conduction, convection and radiation. Radiation is the fastest mode of heat transfer and let us first see conduction and convection. So, conduction let us see what is their requirements, the requirements of conduction and convection. So, for conduction we require physical contact physical contact between two bodies. Here that means, a medium is a requirement physical contact or a medium the physical medium is required. There is a physical contact here physical contact or medium and gravity gravity if it is natural, if it is unnatural then apart from gravity I require some external force that we will see. Convection uh, sorry radiation no medium is required, no medium is required. So, radiation does not require any medium, convection requires a medium as well as some external agency or gravity for natural convection and conduction just a physical medium. So, in conduction, in conduction the heat transfer, the heat transfer takes place, takes place 
by the exchange of by the exchange of momentum and energy between molecules molecules of one region to the molecules of another region. So, what happens in a physical medium suppose this is a medium. So, this region is hot. So, suppose this region is hot and this cold. So, there is here the molecules are in motion and they have larger momentum and larger velocity energies. Whereas, this region the momentums and energies associated with molecules is very less. So, the, mo the molecules transfer their momentum and energy by continuous collision to nearby molecules and this way the heat is transferred from one region to another region. So, this is the mechanism of heat transfer in conduction. Now, conduction takes place in solids and liquids. So, let us see. So, in solids, in solids and in liquids and gases. So, in solids there are two ways, there are two mechanism of heat conduction. So, molecules inside the solid in the solid occupy their fixed places that is the lattice. So, so the motion in solid the molecules are in motion. So, we will call lattice vibration. So, the molecular motions in the molecules or in the atoms of solid is called lattice vibration lattice vibration and electron motion. So, what happens inside electrons we have inside solids we have free electrons. So, this free electrons inside a solid behave like a gas. So, in one region of the solid the electrons are more energetic and from one region to another these electrons transport some energy. So, the mode of conduction in solids is by lattice vibration as well as electron motion. So, the electron the thermal electrons the free electrons take the energies from one hot region to cold region and in gases in gases the gas molecules are in random thermal motions. So, there is no lattice vibration and free electron motion here thermal thermal motion of thermal motion of molecules. So, the mechanism of heat conduction in solids is through lattice vibration and electron motion that is thermal electrons free electron motion whereas, in liquids and gases thermal motion of molecules there is no electronic motion involved and lattice vibration for fluids that is liquids and gases, but in solids this. So, thus what is conduction? In a conduction from one region to another region heat is transferred and there is a intervening medium the participating medium that may be solid, liquid or gas number one point. If it is solid then the molecules in the solid are at their fixed positions and they vibrate at their lattice points. So, we call that this motion as lattice vibration. So, lattice vibration transport energy from hot region from high temperature to low temperature as well as inside the metallic specimen solid we have the gas the free electrons is in the gaseous form we call this according to free electron gas theory the gas inside a solid is the electrons inside the solid behave like an gas and so from higher region thermal velocities are more are more. So, the free electrons are more energetically and they diffuse in the region where there is less energy 
low temperature and thus heat transfer takes place in solid. Whereas, in liquid or gases there is no fixed positions of molecules and they are not in a free electron, free electrons are not there in, in liquids and gases unless they are ionized. So, the molecular motions transfer the and the molecules tr transfer their kinetic energy and momentum by collision or by diffusion thereby causing conduction of heat. So, this is how the heat is conducted inside solids and liquid by this conduction process. Now, come to convection. So, convection takes place in a fluid medium, Conduct, convection cannot take place in a solid medium first. So, number one point it cannot take place, cannot take place in solid, whereas this conduction can place take place in solid, liquid and gas, convection cannot take place in solid. So, in a fluid, in a fluid, in a continuous fluid, in a fluid when the energy is carried, carried by microscopic fluid motion together with, with conduction, then we say that convection, convection is taking place. That means, the heat conduction by convection is taking place. Since such a motion cannot take place in a solid, this convection is not in solid. Now, so what happens if we have a liquid or a gaseous system? with one region having different temperature than other that is there is a temperature gradient, then the conduction will be taking place and along with conduction the fluid motion will be also taking place. So, this macroscopic fluid motion causes the heat and mass transfer. So, actually it is not purely heat transfer, it is a heat transfer by mass and transfer. Thus, thus it is actually both transfer of heat and mass. So, the mass is also locally transferred which was not happening in the solid case. Now, there are two ways in which convection can be produced. So, when this transfer is taking place with the help of this mass transport this this microscopic fluid motion is taking place because of external agency it is called con it is called forced convection and when it is taking naturally then it is called natural convection so now you see two points i am writing if this microscopic microscopic movement motion of fluid fluid is due to due to external conditions external cause then then it is forced convection so suppose some object is has to be cooled and uh, i have applied a blower to it, then the air in contact with that object gets cool, uh, gets takes extracts heat, and when with the help of blower we use to remove that air from it. So that is again a convective heat transfer. Now if if the fluid if the fluid comes in motion comes in motion due to due to the change in change in density change in density and due to gravity change in density and thus 
due to due to gravity it moves down depending on in which direction gravity is there then it is called natural convection. So, you see in hot summer days the air close to the surface of earth becomes very hot it absorbs energy heat energy from the rocks from the surface of earth and so it becomes light. Now, due to gravity the air above the surface of earth is lighter and at at and at higher altitudes it is cool and so heavier that comes down and thus it forms a convection current that is a natural convection current. If we apply an external agency like fan etcetera that then it will be called forced convection otherwise it is natural convection. Next come to radiation. Now, for radiation no medium is required and you see it is the fastest fastest and universal versal mode of heat transfer. That means, in conduction as well as convection radiation was also taking place. So, what is this mode of heat transfer? So, the idea is all objects all objects radiate radiate some energy energy depending depending on their temperature level depending on their temperature level. Higher the temperature higher will be the radiation lower the temperature lower will be radiation temperature level in the form of form of electromagnetic wave electromagnetic waves. These waves like light travel with the speed of light that is why they can reach from one region to another region at a very fast rate and this is universal that means, it happens inside solid, inside liquid, inside gas even if there is a physical medium, even if there is no physical medium radiation is the universal mode of heat transfer. Now, let us see one by one conduction, convection and radiation. So, during conduction we will learn Fourier's law of steady state heat conduction. 